Welcome to the Battlegrounds Tour Agency's Tour of Erangel. Now, the island itself is pretty infamous, but on this tour you're going to get up close and personal with Erangel and see the major landmarks from the ground, just like a real Battlegrounds contestant. Only difference is, all of you get to leave the island alive. While we're down here, we'll also dive into some of the history of the island. Nobody really knows the whole story about what went down here, but with the help of prominent Battlegrounds historians, we've pieced together some of the clues left behind. Now, when people still lived here, there was quite a little community on the island. Farmers, laborers, physicians, teachers, even dock workers made up Erangel's economy, and everyone contributed to keep the island a self-sustained place. Even after the military took control of Sosnovka, life kept on like normal for a time. But as the occupying force got more oppressive and more demanding of the population's obedience, well, things started to escalate. Resistance against the military started to rise up, which caused the military to tighten their grip, and so on. Of course, that all ended in 1965 when the bombs started dropping. Anyway, our first stop on the tour is Kameshki. It might look like a sleepy seaside town, but Kameshki was actually quite important to the resistance, as is apparent by their hidden in plain sight base. This was one of several bases set up around the island to monitor what the military was doing and plan strikes against them. And being so close to Stalber, you can bet they were relaying communications of their own. Speaking of, let's head up the mountain. Stalber is one of the highest points on Erangel, and as such was the perfect spot to set up communications arrays. While we don't know for sure which side of the conflict controlled Stalber, the resistance base in Kameshki and the bunker just down the hill tell us that this area was mostly blue territory. They even flew the flags of their enemy down here to help throw them off their trail. This here is Erangel's infamous crash site. It's nothing compared to that aircraft graveyard down on Sosnovka, but it being so out of place is exactly what makes it interesting. Nobody's quite clear on how the plane went down, but these things don't really have a habit of just falling out of the sky by themselves. And that was before flight data recorders were widely used, so we might never know what took her down. But she's part of the island now, and part of the tour. George Bull was a priority for the occupying force, as it housed a large portion of Erangel's population, and was the island's most prominent port, with shipping containers full of supplies from the mainland arriving every week. They set up base in the north of the city and put its jail to good use once the blue flags started flying around. Some of you noticed the cameras around. Those are a more recent addition to make sure none of the Battlegrounds action is missed. They get replaced pretty often with all the bullets flying around. Speaking of surveillance and bullets flying, that mountain outside of Gatka was a prime place to set up surveillance, or even a sniper nest. It's a pretty safe bet that the Resistance was up there keeping an eye on the Red Eye. That's it for the first leg of our tour. We'll spend the night here in Gatka and start up first thing in the morning. Just remember, the crew does a great job of cleaning up after a battleground, but if you happen to come across a weapon, just assume it's loaded and alert one of your guides immediately. Last thing we need is to cut the tour short to rush someone back for medical attention. The rest of the night is yours. If you're enjoying the tour, be sure to give us a five-star review and tell your friends that it was the Battlegrounds Tour Agency that helped you explore the Battlegrounds like never before. Good night.